Okay guys, this is our second tutorial. Um, this over here is the first tutorial. Um, we did a program that displayed a message. This is the message over here. Um, we could do a new project and start a second tutorial where we can just add a new file to the to to the source over here adding a new file over here but to be more organized we are actually going to create a new project command line tool choose C++ tutorial 2 we're gonna name it okay in this tutorial I'm gonna show you we're gonna do a program that adds two numbers okay let's start doing the program I'm gonna write number include the I stream using namespace std int main we're gonna declare the variables we're gonna write int number one Int number number two and uh, add. Okay, we can write this like that, um, or we can just write one int and separate them with the comma it will do the same thing it just depends how do you wanna write it okay let me number one, number two and add now we're gonna write the program it's gonna be C out we're gonna write we're gonna write text in the cout. We're gonna write enter the first number. Same. C in. We're gonna write number one. C out. enter the second number of course I forgot to put this to the second number C in number 2 then we're going to add both numbers number one plus number two okay your total is the 
let's spin one around it to see if we did it right. It succeeded. Now let's run the program to see how it works. Enter the first number. We're gonna enter the number three. We're gonna press enter. Enter the second number. We're gonna press five. Your total is eight. The program succeeded. Of course, we cannot add space over here, so the eight over here is not with the is. Could be something apart. Okay, we save all. We run it again. Enter the first number. Three, four. As you can see, the result. It's right here. It's seven. Well, that was our second tutorial. I hope that you guys learned some of the basic tools of the C++ that we're going to be using a lot. We're going to be using a lot C out, which is for entering text, and for the same in which, which is for entering a value to uh, the variables over here. We use the tool int because we're, we're going to be using whole numbers. Then you will learn another tool that will, will provide you for using decimal numbers or numbers that are not whole. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. This is our second tutorial. And I'll see you guys in our next third tutorial.